got uh, Bristol and Xfinity. Wasn't going to do this. Husker game just got over with. But, all right, well, let's continue the losing tradition from Nebraska by going and just getting completely destroyed at Bristol. Uh, we're going to be on the fix set, or whatever you want to call this. I don't know if it is the fix set, but it's the base set for Bristol. And uh, it looks to be pretty damn slow, so... Uh, just going to have to hope to survive is the biggest thing. And, yeah, other than that, we've got... No, we got, like, four... At least three just trashy people in here. But we got Chad in here. He's come to do the Nebraska Depression race. And, uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. But we're going to start at the back. And if we get caught up in a wreck, then, hey, that's just how this night is going. Like, they almost tricked me. They almost made me think that they were... They were gonna be halfway decent, but they still get in those situations where they have to step up and they fall apart. Like, go into overtime with a team that you should have been ahead because you should have hit a touchdown or a field goal. And then to be third and 46 in overtime. It's just it's so Nebraska. It's so depressing. But I mean, there's bright sides, but you see how they react defensively. Like absolutely trash though. Like I've never seen a team give up so many like five plus yards in between five and fifteen yard plays. Just over and over and over. It was just eight yard runs, 11 yard passes, just constantly. And I mean, it was an even game. It was, someone was gonna be disappointed, but Nebraska's really good at just choking it late. So best I can do right now is like a 15-2 really pushing it. I've had a few random spins that I have no idea where they came from. Uh, it's kind of pushy. It's kind of uh, tight. But then there's some weird transition into the corner that I'm struggling with. So I just got to hope the setup stays alive. That's the biggest thing. If it falls off and it's slow, that's no good. So, let's get a tire reading. I don't think everyone will be finished, but just, just in case. Uh, 199. Oh, we've got a couple more people saying hi. Alan and AJ. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, see what we can do from 16th at the moment, 17th. But AJ and Alan are 5th and 6th. Chad starting from the rear with me. Yeah, I didn't look at that. I did, but, well, I did, but didn't. 199 it was, so I'm worried it's going to go too loose. We're just going to have to deal with that later on. I can't make those judgments in that short of time. So, waiting on three people now. And they're just not doing anything, apparently. Yep. 
just sitting staring at their monitor. So we've got one Australian, a couple of West Coasters, about four of them. So number 18, just got to know that his ping's going to be high. Try to not get too involved in that. Um, yeah, 160 laps. There's going to be there's going to be a lot of wrecks. People are going to overdrive. I'm probably going to overdrive if I try to go. Just not going to worry about it. We're going to just see what the changes to Xfinity feel like. And uh, hope to just come away with a nice, clean race and aim for a top ten. That will be the goal. So we are starting 17th. And we will go, Chad. A good luck and get going. So yeah, 160 laps. The estimated SOS is 3,286. There's going to be. We expect to be fighting for the podium. There's probably going to be 10 to 12 cautions. I hope not, but it's a Friday night. There's probably quite a few drunk people. I don't normally even race this late on a Friday. Five cars left to grid. Lately, I've just been racing on Saturday morning and releasing a video. But, yeah, goal, just stay, stay out of the stupid. You're gonna see a lot of people fighting extremely hard still waiting on two cars to grid we've got five sets of time so we got six total sets including what we're starting with. waiting on the final car to grid so everyone just to have to there are five additional sets of tires for this race attempt and have a good run to not get on a wrong strategy I really hope that we can go 40 laps at least at one point in this race but probably not going to happen, sadly. Line up on the inside. Close. Pit road is closed. Catch star two. Car. Catch star nineteen. Car. Catch star two. Car. All right. Catch up, 19, car. Catch up, 2, car. Catch up, 19, car. Just room since shitty internet is ahead. No need to get our nose busted off on the start because this guy's blinking around. How many laps do we go before the yellow? Pace car is off. Green, green, green.
Started off clean. Chad has dropped to the back. Now we just got to see what kind of pace we have to the people that we're racing at the back here. setup there. That's about the info that we got from qualifying. Catch up, 13, car. Either it's not quick or I'm not quick or both. But if we can get a long run and the tires can stay on it, then possibly we can gain some spots. The pit road is now open. multiple people getting loose within 10 laps. Uh, yeah. Not a good sign for this one. Looking like that 10 to 12 cautions. High probability. It'll be sort of a short caution since we don't have anyone to lap down yet. Apparently, the 21 did not get any damage, so. Speed road is closed. Or they're just not going in to fix it. We got the 12 car going into the pits. But, yeah, this one. Unless there's a bunch of wrecking, this one's going to be run at the back, stay at the back, because they were all just checking out there. So, we'll have to get the faster people around us. The pace car is off, be ready. And then, no. Green, green, green. Just sort out where we're gonna be, but it looks like everyone at the back is just chilling, so. Gonna come down here. Skip the 12 to spot. Seven gets put in the wall. Clear inside. Don't want to get behind the 20 because they've already had their self spin. That means they're probably going to have another one. Hopefully not. Six 
So, it's going to be a long one. That's fine. They're going to just continue to wreck over and over and over. Shitty internet was involved in that, so I'm guessing it probably had something to do with that. The more they wrecked, the more they helped me. Pit Road is now open. Twenty-one car goes into the pits this time. Is the single pits? So we gotta remember that. Got a bunch of people that just pit there. Go ahead and just drive through the pits. Right we don't need to be ahead of the people that are gonna continually force their way to the front. Damn it, pits are closed, can't go in. Oh, now we know. Hopefully we'll be on the inside. I think there's still a few people ahead of us when we cross the line. On pit road? Nope. We'll be on the outside. One to go, next time by, line up on the outside, catch the 12, car. Get ready, going green. 43.95. Okay, well. Let's just try not to get ran over. Although right now there's not a whole lot of people behind us, so. That could have been a bad situation. Or a good situation, maybe, had I just ran straight into the car and died. Don't know uh, what would have been better. But we're still going. Which means we're going to have to stay doing this for the next three hours that this race takes. Pit road's open. I mean, the ARCA race was terrible, and uh, I was like, every 10 laps or 20 laps, it seemed, but this is going to definitely beat that with 40 less laps. people what they do is they wreck they go to the back they wreck again they go to the back they wreck again and it's just a non-stop process until they X out or get too much damage force feedback did not like whatever was going there three two 
one. Uh, no idea. tricked you. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm looking forward to the new flight sim. I guess I'll talk about that. Uh, the career mode being built into the game now, rather than me having to use the, uh, hat. they're still standing there. I didn't even have to run back out. Am I losing sets of tires from a bug? Because I know that's a thing that happened a while ago. Um... Yeah, new flight sim though. To go Looks pretty right awesome. Nope, oh, you know green. what? Uh, I fucked down. that up. I did not know we were at that point. Oh, we should miss the wreck. Well, I was confident about missing the wreck, but we were already... We nearly got in the wreck because it was such a fucking big one. Jesus, AJ's in that one. Chad might have got a bit of damage. Hell of a race. Looks like AJ didn't get going in time, so he got trapped behind the pace car. He's gonna have to take away a run. What a race. We're up to four cautions now in 27 laps, so we might... We might go well above 12. Good thing that I completely screwed up that pit stop and was miles back. I mean, that worked out. Okay, we're not going to do it like I did. That was clearly bad, although we do have a lap car now, so there's going to be extra. What, are, what do we got? You guys... Pit box team, 10. <laughs> what are they... I have no idea what they're Five, doing. Three, Dude's just stopping two, in the corner. One. Right here. Alright, let's just park it here. Alan's the number 16. What paint scheme did I give him? Someone just reset there. They want you in single file. Nice car coming catch around, 13, so... Car, catch it up, 7. Car, catch it up, 13. Car. Get an extra pace lap this time. Everything's going to be so screwed up here. We got people coming out of the pits a lap down. I'm going to just drive through. Fuck it. It worked out last time. 19's car is looking skewed out bad. The pit box team, 10. Five, three, two, one. Ah, right here. Still tricked him. Maybe I just won't take tires this whole race, just to do something. I mean, there's really no need for it. 
Get ready. Going green. You'll be and lining up on the people laps now. Jet Star 2, car. Half star 17, car. Well, we're in 15th. Got chat back here in 13th. Are they going to clean shit up now? We insta reckon again. So he's going to go insta reckon, looks like. Oh my god, what is going on with 17? I don't think we want to be around that dude. Is he really that loose? Man, did they up the damage model to this? Completely burn people? Well, we're in 12th now. Might actually get some laps. Never mind. 17 still hasn't figured out that he's got to slow it down because he's broken. Go high. 15.745. There's so many people on pit road, multiple laps down. Oh, Alan got in the wreck as well. Jesus. Whatever I miss because of my pit road screw up, that got everyone. Talk about luck. Maybe we did a uh, 15 1. Feeling fast. Feeling so fast, we're catching Chad. I need to stop turning so much on exit. It's a bit of a snap if you try to hold it down too long. We're going longest green run so far. We are five seconds from being lapped, but... That's too uh, big of a deal with the way this one has gone. Figured he was gonna let us have it once we got to his outside there. And he does. Not a whole lot of point to us fighting back here. We are so far behind. Now we might even have to take tires on the next caution. Maybe not. Shit. I saw something stop there. I thought. in, take tires, no fuel. We 
got to do a bit. We're still averaging one caution every 10 laps, though, so... Let's see if that gets a little better. going to stop this time guys five three be ready two, one right here all right 98 96 i don't know if i want to tighten it up though that's it go i think i just need to drive harder Want you in single file. Catch up, 13. Car. Well, so we don't have to line up behind all the lap cars single file. We're definitely not driving through now. Plus, it looks like everything has sort of cleaned up a bit. to the top 10. Only 110 laps to go. Now we're in eight. One left to green. You're on the outside this time. About to go green. Stay focused. 41.756. Big gap behind us. Well, I don't know. Car felt absolutely horrible that time, so I uh, roads open. I don't know if I need to go throw fuel in it or what. Like, that's worrisome tight. Let's go take a look at the tires. I might make some changes. Pit 
See what it One. says, see if there's any right signs here. that it was as tight as I thought. God, I don't know. Let's. Clear. Do. Let's clear. Send it up there. Just a couple of clicks and see if it goes too loose. That's fine. I can back it down and. Wait for five laps until the next yellow to fix it. But that just felt terrible. Half lap 20, cast. Half lap 1, cast. We'll, uh, see what it does this time. Outside start again, it looks like. One to go, next time by. Line up on the outside. Catch start 21, car 42.137. About to go green, stay focused. Alright, just try not to get ran over by the lappers. Had it gone green, we'd only have 12 minutes left. Sadly, I think we've got an hour left in this one. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green flag, green flag. Inside, 40 points. This is a fucking idiot. What am I supposed to do, man? There's a fucking car in front of me. Only knows how to be out front with no one around him. So clueless. Lap car, two laps down, goes three wide. All he had to do, he was lucky dog position. All he had to do was pull his head out of his ass. Instead, he's in the wall. It's amazing. Guess we needed uh, another flag there. All right, well. Looks like that is going to get Allen to six open. laps down now. Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. So he's got a real chance of getting back onto the lead lap the way this thing's going. It's just amazing how some of these people just can't figure out that all they gotta do is ride there's going to be another caution. <laughs> Instead, they just fucking wreck themselves. It's just... It's so predictable with them. They can't help themselves. To, to go 90% speed, it's just they can't do it. They, they've, like, only got I rating in their life, so they've got to go prove that they can pass everyone or something. I don't know what it is, but I mean, 
that situation, that dude just had to sit and ride. There was going to be a caution. He'd get back to one lap down. Instead, he throws it three wide up the inside onto lead lap cars. And, uh, well, it really paid off for him. Right All right, well, we are in ninth place now. And there is hardly anybody left. So, all we got to do is ride, and 10th place is pretty much locked up. We still got one person left to wreck out. I don't know where he went. Maybe, no, all right, found him. One to go, next time by, you'll be so, lining up on the inside. Only one of them left now. 43.399, about to go green, stay focused. And then, yeah, then we just ride to the end and wait to, uh, wait to laugh, I guess. Top 10 by being the slowest person on track. Stay out of the wrecks. The pace car is off, be ready. Green, 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 you're in the top 10. Outside, 40.513, still there. Outside, clear, car outside. Keep low. Back off, let them all go. Find out if this thing's gonna get loose or not. Do we have any speed? Got there quicker than I thought. Are we 
just on lap 60. Not going to be able to go anywhere. 22's internet is tweaking, so we got to give him a little bit more room. 19's trying really, really hard to get around the 14. He's starting to push it more and more. Let's see if Chad wants to go up high. He's going to. 22's going to hit the wall, though, I think. Starting to feel the pressure. 19's falling off now. Fourteen's way off pace. And giving no room off the corner. Alright, survive that, back in top 10, three car once by, we'll let him by. Hitting that phase where we're quicker than Chad again. Yeah, that bottom line with this setup, I assume he's on the fixed setup as well, but when you get that big shove off the corner, it's just trash. Chad's picking up a bit of speed now. Bottom line usually saves tires better, but I feel terrible down there. I think we gotta try to make this pass. 22 is falling off. Okay, he makes it easy. And that puts us into ninth. And a caution. Three car gets his lap back by being smart. Nope, never mind. The 14 went a lap down. And, uh, that's crazy that the 14 fell back that far. Maybe the 14 was the wreck. Well, we'll come throw some tires on it, loosen it up just a bit more, just because it's going to get a little bit tighter. Eventually I'll go too far and kick myself, but...
guessing the three car might be damaged. Car 14, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Pit road's open. He thought he had the lucky dog. He started to go there. He just got nabbed. But there was him going faster wasn't going to do anything about it. It's not like he was going to go a whole lap around and catch the 14. Plus, once we got free of that uh, 19, it looked like he was kind of off base. Three, two, one, right here. Tires, 96-94. Cars doing a wave around. There you go. That's a smart move. So he was probably taking it easy on his tires just to be able to do that in case he didn't get the uh, lucky dog. So that puts 12 cars on the lead lap, and then Allen is six laps down. One left green. Line up on the outside. Catch up 13. Car. So. Our easy top tens getting further and further away. Four, four. About to go green. Stay focused. We got 57 laps left in this one. Fifteen point two nine. 
Let's go to the top. Chad had a bad exit. I don't know if he thought I was going to hit the wall or if he had a moment off the corner. I just want this one to go green. Green to the end. I feel like that's our, our best bet of finishing right here. Could be wrong. But three cars right now kind of handicapped because he's on those older tires. So possible that he could get lapped. His leaders are just flying. We don't have that speed. Chad just felt it too. He just had a moment. Okay, that's the first snap, and I think it was because I was just putting way too much steering into it. So we're gonna just back things down a bit. and then all of a sudden Chad's on his inside and they're both falling back while they battle. 22 has like this massive cliff it seems. Seven car ahead might also be hitting a bit of a cliff. Kind of evening out with cars ahead of us. I'm actually Not too far off. Yeah, I guess I am pretty far off my best lap. Only a tenth, though. We have no fall off. We just have no speed at the start. Sometimes it pays to be slow, because somehow it makes me quicker in this part of the run. It's just we don't get to this part of the run very often. That's why I need it to stay green. But it's not going to be easy passes. Luckily, they're wanting to stay down low. I don't know if they're saving tires or what, but if they stay down low, it might be an easy pass. We got loose there. We tried to push it through the corner to get the run on exit. Take our time. Lifted off. He was pushing up quite a bit on exit. Knew that we got there though. 
yeah. able to take that spot away. Racing really tight up there on the high side. Same thing to the 13 in the center of the corner. We can, he lifts, we survive. Free car has went back a lap down, but that's no longer my concern. My concern is it stays green, which there are way too many cars in front of me altogether. really hard. Almost three wide there. We got lap cars battling, got lead lap cars trying to go through it. AJ's staying low for us, but... Now we got the 14 and the 3 racing for Lucky Dog. 14's internet's terrible. They both let us go. Thank you. Jesus. That's a hard thing because they're both battling for that Lucky Dog spot, or at least what looks to be a lucky dog spot. And they're both way off the pace. We got 23 laps left. And holy shit, the seven car is all of a sudden flying again. Maybe he just caught up quite a bit through that. Alright, this is going to be our first actual having to pass someone, it looks like, because he's going to defend the high side. Massive glitch there. So, we can go low and hopefully pass him. Doesn't happen. Just got to wait, set it up. Back up my corner just a tiny bit. Seven car is so much better down low than we are. It's fine though. Take a second here. Breather. Just don't snap on exit. Had to use up all the room I could there. Thankfully, we didn't run into each other off the corner. That's uh, fifth place. Seven car is still scary back there because he's able to work the bottom pretty well. Twelve cars just like come out of the pits or something on new tires. He had been going really slow, now he's all of a sudden really fast, so. Got to 
pass attempt, and I don't know why he tried to pass attempt right then, because I could see the 14 was running down low and off pace, but that helps us out. Now he's having to drive it to get back there. Lost a bit of the front end now. Trying to trick the eight to go low. Although he's going to get to the inside of the four and maybe make the pass. But if he doesn't, then we can get ahead of him and try it. Just got to hope he doesn't lose it. Seven. We're all going to be on top of each other, crossing the line. There's no good place for me to go. I don't want to give the seven the high side. Well, <laughs> that's the fucking fourth place. Didn't expect that. Great racing at the end with all the people that actually knew how to race and could get to the end. Chicken flag, chicken flag. That was an awesome finish. Nice run. Solid work. Not bad for the fixed setup with three clicks to the left on the right rear. Woo! That I, I was fucking nervous at the end there. I thought we were gonna wreck. 84-83. Perfect. That... That was worth waiting for. Just had to let all the people that wreck out all the time wreck out, and, uh... That allowed us to snag a fourth. Let's, uh, go see what happened. Quite a few people, though, ended up wrecked, so that helped us, but... Uh, some contact there. Is he eventually going to spin him? He just kept running into him. 21 is going to self-spin here, and that is the first one. Just a yellow there. And this is the 17 that was crazy loose all the time. 18 drops down in front of him. He saves it. Now there's three wide at the back. Allen trying to back out of it, and the 7 was there. Not ready for that. And then crappy internet comes back to uh, get the 2. That's why his hitbox was so wide there, because he was blinking around so much. Then, 17 in the wall, 
22s up in the wall and then gets just destroyed by the last car through there. 15, getting, well, Jesus, was everyone just getting sent there? So, there's a tap there, that checks them all up, then the 8 finishes it off, and that is the big one. Oh, Chad got a bit of that as well. <laughs> oh my god, you see that arc of break? This is like the perfect view for it. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, shit. They're still wrecking, and we were half a lap behind, and we caught up. 17, he was having all his loose moments. He goes around inside wall, out onto the track, yellow. Then, 21, 17, come together. Two lap cars at that point, I'm pretty sure. Then, three wide late dive into lead lap traffic, and wrecks himself out of Lucky Dog spot. Great job. A little bit of prediction code contact there. You can see his car jittering, so just makes a wider prediction code. 14 up into the wall, the 20. Losing it on corner entry. And again, losing it center corner, overcorrecting into the wall. And the four car, okay, had quite a bit of damage from the lead, apparently. So he probably wasn't 100%, which is why we beat him. I was confused on why we were catching. Six car, 13. Again, they're just having prediction code issues with each other. 18 into the wall. here. 12 though, he was nice to us. He backed off and let us race for a position, even though he was faster late in the run, which is right now. I think he backed off. Maybe, okay, he got loose and hit the wall and that put him back. And these guys are still battling. A little bit of prediction code contact there. Didn't move anyone around though. And that's it. Six car wins. I feel like I won. And uh, let's take a look at the results. Gained 47 I rating. Zero incidents for the race. Uh, the 11 also zero incidents. And that was it for that race. So uh, four car was the fastest on lap 62. And then I think that damage slowed him down. We were not the fastest. 15.174 our fastest lap. Damn it. Allen didn't get enough laps to set a faster lap. Otherwise, I don't know, 20 was slow. But a lot of these guys wrecked out early, so hard to tell. We were definitely slow compared to everyone up front. But thankfully, thankfully everyone wrecked out. And everyone burnt up their stuff. So that was actually pretty good. Eight cautions. Way under. We just got all the wreckers out of the way early. And then everyone else was so damaged and lapsed down that I think everyone just started racing to get to the end rather than for position. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.